Hello everyone, today I'll be showing you how to create a caged version of the icosidodecahedron. Now before you make any of this, you're also going to need to make this, which is just a small icosidodecahedron. I will have a link in the description below so that you can go do that real fast. You need one of those, then you need 20 of these, which are four stacked rings of six, and you also need 20 of these elongated hexagons, which is just a regular hexagon of side 4, and then you add 3 magnets to 3 sides, so that it creates a side of 3 and a side of 6 on it. You need 20 of these. Now what you're going to do is when you have all of the materials together, you're going to take each one of these, and you're going to attach it to each triangle, making sure that they mesh together. And you can do that for all 20 of these. When you're done, you should have what looks like this, each one meshed on to each triangle on the shape itself. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take each one of these and you're going to make sure that this time they sit on top of each other so that when you line them up they sit just like this. The polarities are the same. And you do that for every single one of them. And when you do that, what you're going to do is once you're done, you're going to squish all of the sides in so that it creates the caged structure. Okay, have each side of these, just like how you did it with the other icosidodecahedron, just pinch it all in. And it actually is pretty stable because every time you pinch it in, it takes this in here, this takes this row here, and it pushes it and attaches it to this hexagon the top hexagon of each one. So you're going to do that for every every one of these. And that's it when you're done. Just make sure you pinch in all the triangles. And that is the caged icosidodecahedron. Actually, pretty stable. And you can always fill in each one of these pentagons and you can make a bigger one. And so on and so forth. You can just scale this up until you, know, you have the triangle size and the pentagon size that you desire. So... There you go. I suppose I'll crush it for you now.